Hello, welcome to the craft room. Today I'm gonna to be giving you a tour of my craft room. It is not completely done. We're still working on the chandelier, so we haven't gotten it hung, but I still thought that it was a good opportunity to show you what I have going on now, and then maybe we can talk about what I plan on changing in the future. I'll just give you a quick pan of the room. This is what the room currently looks like. Here is how I have you guys set up on the tripod. This is the wall that I want all of my thread on. This is the box I keep all of my thread in. So all of this will be displayed on the wall. I think it'll be a really cute element to have all along this wall. Here is some of the shelves. And then we move over here. Here is the mannequin you guys see, have seen me make. I have these drawers. I currently just have like some vinyl and tripods and things in them. Mostly empty because I don't know what I'm going to put in them yet. Honestly, not 100% sure if I'll be keeping them or keeping them here. They might end up in my closet. But I thought I could put a tabletop on them and this could become my ironing station. And then we have my pegboard. I DIY'd this pegboard in a different video. I will have it linked up in the cards somewhere so you guys can see how I did this. But I have all my smaller spools of thread on here with little pegs. We have, of course, a tape measure and then like some empty spools that are not fully empty tape, my tweezers for my serger. I knitted this little frog buddy. I think he's so cute. Made him a little sweater. We have my chalk and then this is an attachment for my serger so that it becomes a cover stitch machine. Down here we have all my knitting needles my pin cushion which i want to do another diy to make a different pin cushion some pattern weights these are just washers from the hardware store rotary cutter scissors these are loop turners other scissors paint brushes a hole punch some marking tools and then you go down to my desk i also diy'd this desk in another video that I will have linked in the cards as well. So I have two drawers. These are from Michaels. I got them a really long time ago and then just DIY the fronts of them and added some knobs. In this front drawer, we have another rotary cutter and all other sewing supplies, attachments. And these are just like little doodads, like hair ties, cords, things like that. This drawer is like tape, shipping supplies. I got these scissors at an estate sale. Can of air, a lighter. More shipping supplies. I do sell things on Poshmark, so we have some shipping supplies. Some more doodads. This is a button holder. This used to be my great grandma's, my checkbook. We have my engagement ring box, just like literally a bunch of doodads, you know? Cords for my Cricut and for my projector. These are attachments for my cat's um, food bowl and just some other spare things that you never know that you might need. Up here on the desktop, I have some elastic. This is rubber elastic for swimwear fabric. We have my vintage sewing machine that you guys have seen me sew on. My cover stitch machine, an art print that I will eventually hang up. My label printer, a speaker. And then this is my cutting table, but I have this spool of elastic that is supposed to hang on my wall, just haven't put it up yet. Before we go to the cutting table, let's check out these drawers. These ones are more sewing related. So we have like 
bobbins, some bra, bra hardware, I guess. More elastic, other elastic. I got these from a local craft store. I don't know what I will do with them, but I thought they were beautiful, so I had to have them. We have mask elastic back here, some other doodads in there, some pliers. This drawer has like cans, cam snaps. I have um, safety eyes. We have a ton of bias binding that I got from a thrift store. Some marking tape, an awl, my cam snap thingy, and then a bunch of vintage buttons back there. This drawer has invisible zippers and regular zippers. This is a vacuum for my sewing machine. I have some makeup brushes that I actually use to clean my machine with. And then for Christmas, my mother-in-law got me these little tubs. So I have my thimbles in them. And then these, this bottom one has magnetic snaps and this one's empty. So I have some room. Here is like some of my makeup collection. I was a makeup artist for a long time. And so like I have like some collectible Mac stuff that I can't get rid of. And then this bottom drawer is kind of like another junk drawer of things that I don't know where I'm going to put them. So we have more buttons that doesn't fit in my button tub. Doodads in here, manuals, other little boxes, perfume that I don't normally wear. You know, just, just doodads, right? And then this is underneath my cutting table. This is another serger that I have in its little case. So here is all of my fabric. We have some rolls here, up here, and over here. This is my little kitty bed. And then on this side, I will show you from the front. On the top of my cutting table, I have my chandelier that I am working on cleaning up. This is a cutting mat that I actually found at the Goodwill. So I was really excited about that. I have an S-Spin projector that um, eventually will be put on a stand specifically for me to project patterns onto the cutting table so I don't have to print any patterns. And then over here is another Singer Featherweight that I have disassembled because I'm going to paint this one pink. It's in really rough condition so it's the perfect one to be painted and this is all of its parts. Down here I have vintage spools of thread. I don't remember, I think I got these from my great grandma. We have little clippies and some elastic scraps. This is my newer Husqvarna machine. This is a Husqvarna Jade 20. I am just like not a fan of computerized sewing machines. If you guys want some more information about sewing machines, I would love to do a video of that for you, but I don't, I do not love computerized machines, but that's what that is. Here are all of my sewing patterns. So we have like swimwear. I think this one that's like tucked back here is kids, tops and pants. Dresses, dress patterns are always like massive. So they get the biggest binder. This is another vintage sewing machine that I have. It is a FAF 230. The reason I'm not using it is I cannot find a cord for it. So I'm probably going to have to sell it for parts because it was imported. This is a German sewing machine and it was manufactured in Germany, but a lot of them were made that are in the US were made for the US market. This one I believe was actually made for another country. And so that's why I cannot find the correct cord for it. So unfortunately, I don't believe that anybody will be able to sew on it unless they rewire it, which is just not a project that I want to dive into. So that's all of my sewing half of the room. On this half of the room, so when I moved to my first apartment, I purchased this couch at a garage sale with the love seat and the chair for $75. I love this couch. It's beautiful. It's pink. It's everything that I have dreamed of. 
but it takes up so much space in my room. So I don't know if I'll be keeping it for much longer. It's beautiful and I love it so much, but it just takes up so much space in here. And I would like to have something similar, but smaller and maybe taller. This sits lower to the ground. And then we have my bag collection. I have many obsessions like handbags and sewing machines. So I have a lot of vintage bags, vintage coach, vintage, Louis Vuitton and a couple Fendi, vintage Fendi. So I am obsessed with bags and sewing machines. Behind the door, I have a full length mirror. And then in the closet, we have fabric scraps, a rolly cart that I'm not sure if I'm going to keep, a little bit of fabric. And then up here is like all my childhood stuff that I'm saving for my nieces. So Cricut mat. And then my interfacing is here. On the other side is more of a mess <laughs> because I have things hanging like clothing. But here's all of my bins that you guys saw in the previous video of me organizing the craft room or getting the craft room put back together really. So this is a um, jacket that I'm going to do a video on. I'm doing this for one of my friends who is getting married. And then this I made in another video you guys saw that I posted a couple weeks ago. This is my bridal shower dress, crocheted bag, a dress that I didn't wear for my wedding, a rug, some swimsuits that I made. I'm going to be making this into a jacket. So if you want to see that video, I'd love to share that. Another swimsuit, my great grandma's wedding dress and her veil that I actually wore to my wedding. I made this shirt and it doesn't fit me. This is my actual wedding dress. It's stunning. It needs to be cleaned. Some clothes that I need to take in and my mother-in-law's um, aunt's dress that I have that I might do something with or wear it as is. I haven't tried it on yet. It's just hanging up. And then this down here is my makeup case for when I do occasionally do professional makeup and my cat litter. So that is the entire craft room. Nothing too crazy. Eventually I would like the space to be even more organized because honestly, like you saw, I have a lot of drawers that just have like things in them that I don't know where to put them. Honestly, probably need a professional organizer. It works for me for now. At least everything has like a space before not a lot of things had a space. So I'm really happy about that. And I'm happy with the plans that I have for this room. I have a lot of design elements that I wanna bring into this room and maybe eventually we can get rid of the couch and have more storage like along that wall. That would be really, really nice. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you either discover how you want your craft room or how you don't want your craft room. And honestly, if this is too much chaos for you, I totally understand. I hope that it gives you something though. Even if it's like how to store your fabrics because that was a really hard thing for me to figure out how I wanted to store my fabric. Thank you for joining me on this video. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and if possible, share it with a friend if you know you have a friend who's looking to up their craft room game. I really appreciate you and I will see you in the next video.